the baker sneaks into the orchard for vegetables. And incidentally, he took six magic peas. Little did he know that the peas were the witch's preservative, losing the peas. The witch became ugly and old. She cast a curse on the baker. Their family lying would end with them to break the curse. They needed for things. One, a cow with milk as white as fresh cream. Two, a cloak as red as fresh blood. Three, hair as yellow as corn. Four, shoes as pure as gold. On that day, Little Red Riding Hood came to the bakery again. She secretly took a piece of bread. The baker and his wife didn't notice. She took another piece, slowly gaining confidence. She hugged piece after piece to her chest, eating them as she went. Seeing such a lovely Little Red Riding Hood, the baker and his wife liked her too much. They didn't think she was a thief. They even gave her a basket. Little Red Riding Hood said her grandmother was sick, and she needed to take bread to her. Then she ran out of the bakery without pain, and ran into the black forest. There she met Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf saw Little Red Riding Hood, fair and tender, and got Grandma's address from her. So, he ate Grandma first. Little Red Riding Hood picked wildflowers and went to Grandma's house. She didn't know that the one lying in bed was Mr. Wolf, the unsuspecting Little Red Riding but was eaten by the big bad wolf. Just as the baker passed by and heard the cries for help, he saw the wolf, full from its meal, sleeping soundly. With a swipe of his knife, he rescued Little Red Riding Hood, but the baker didn't want the wolf skin. He wanted Little Red Riding Hood's red cloak instead. What's going on here? Stay tuned to my channel. Suddenly, a seed broke through the soil, and in no time, a sapling grew into a towering tree. The tree reached up into the sky. It turned out that when the little boy went to the black forest to sell cows, he met the baker. He was looking for a cow with milk as white as fresh cream. After bargaining for a while, the baker traded magic beans for the cow. The little boy, who didn't make any money, returned home and was beaten by his mother. The magic beans were thrown casually into the yard. The little boy climbed up the big tree and picked five big golden coins. With this big tree, the family would never go hungry again. Cinderella ran out of the prince's ball and found the stairs covered in tar to leave something for the prince. Cinderella stuck a golden dancing shoe to the stairs. It turns out that fairy tales are deceiving. The glass slipper didn't fall off Cinderella as she fled, but she deliberately dropped one herself. Then Cinderella carried the other shoe, ran into the black forest, and met a bread woman who was looking for golden shoes to run faster. Cinderella gave the other shoe to the bread woman. The prince was chasing after her on horseback, but Cinderella Cinderella was waiting for her prince at home. When the prince came to Cinderella's house, her two sisters were stuffing their feet into the shoe. What Cinderella didn't know was that the prince had a chaotic private life and often brought various girls home to cook. And where could Cinderella be pure and innocent? While she was combing her sister's hair, she deliberately made them feel pain. She's really innocent on the surface, but cunning in her heart, a scumbag and a tea bitch. Truly a match made in heaven. The witch was climbing up with her golden hair. It turns out that this girl was the witch's daughter. She had beautiful golden hair. The witch secretly hid her in a tall tower. The witch visited her daughter every day and brought her favorite food, but she didn't allow her daughter to go outside, fearing she might be harmed by bad people. The golden-haired girl was bored every day sitting on the windowsill and singing. Her beautiful singing voice attracted the prince riding on horseback. The prince fell in love with the girl and often secretly came to see her for a date. The girl let down her long hair and the prince climbed up the tower using her hair. They cooked together and one day, a woman discovered their secret. She came to the window secretly and pretended to be a man calling the girl's name, thinking her lover had come. The golden-haired girl let down her long golden hair. The woman pulled her hair hard and ripped off a large piece. She finally got the golden hair she wanted. But what was it for? What's the use of it? Stay tuned for more. Finally, the baker's couple gathered the fur items the witch needed, and the curse was finally broken.